There we go. There we are. Super Mario Odyssey again. As I mentioned in the previous video, maybe I will try to do Kirby and Super Mario Odyssey at the same time as the play. Um, I do enjoy Mario games overall. I don't think I've spent much time with uh, Super Mario Sunshine. That's definitely very different with the water gun thing. <clears throat> and the Galaxy was cool, but I don't know about the collecting and using the Wiimote. I didn't really feel that, uh, that crazy. But the rest of the games are believe pretty much done when it comes to the platforming games. Um, I've been a bit on the fence for this one since, the, you know, obviously it's uh, not just the base platform here. You have the hat and the doing different things. Again, uh, graphically, you know, it starts off traditionally like Kirby. Just a very nice art style. This will be done on again yeah, the user emulator, which is yeah, also a very nice one. Uh, I do, don't remember, but I think I added like some kind of patches, uh, like to clear up some stuff here graphically. And again, it made, lets me use my nice speed control with the back panels and everything. It also makes it easier to record nice quality content using emulators and stuff like that. It's just, you know, I've always been uh, in liking emulators since I first like encountered the NES, NES particular ones, uh, the Ultra HLE Bleem. Look around. Whoop. Run, no, we all right. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? My cap is broken, my hat. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Cap Kingdom. So we're gonna team up, right? The top of the hat, right? Hey, Kumutira. No! It's definitely gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna 
make it feel the gameplay. Like, I think it's fun to do these at the same time because both Kirby and this kind of let you. Um. Ooh. Uh, place you like inhibit or take over other like <laughs> other um, characters overall you know the, the base thing here obviously is very nice you have a lot of the traditional movement it is this one that's going to that you like the jump and stuff to kind of bring something new to get used to If I need to collect all of this, uh, probably. Interesting, the coin thing, obviously, uh, since it just doesn't. So far, it doesn't really tell you what what it does in the Submarsis 4. Coins were held. Somehow in this game, not sure how. <laughs> this thing not like me, what? the slippery movement for sure here. Nice traditional music, Mario music. <laughs> uh. Ooh, right. So I've seen, you know, a little bit of the game, I just don't... Oh no! <laughs> Don't know the game, but I've seen a little bit of the game. And this uh, definitely, you know, this reminds me a little bit of the character where you can take over the characters, uh, expand on the game, game and play movement. <laughs> the cool 3D view here. How would Mario be in a 3D, right? Kind of crazy with all the spins and stuff. Capture the frog. Mm 
Det är obviously this is just the introduction menu, so I'm guessing yeah, or level. It's gonna be interesting to see the main level kind of open up how it feels. There's gonna be anything up there. Do, do, do. Oh, oh, there we are. I'm moving. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yes. <laughs> point. something down below you never know i don't know how sneaky this game's gonna be let's go here for the first yes introduction boss <laughs> an interesting bit. like trying to incorporate more of the story thing i am um, I don't know how many people really <laughs> focus on the story in the Mario games. Maybe in the the RPG and the, those ones, but in these platformer ones. <laughs> okay, so traditional, yes. Supposed to, yeah, okay. And this is like an elevator. Oh, there we go. That's the intro. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. It's kind of this is more the kind of color scheme that I was expecting for the more game. It. Uh, gray there. There is something new, a little bit of a different color scheme. I'm not sure how open world kind of feel it's gonna have or how it's gonna play out, but yeah. So far, he has a nice light heart uh, platform the Kirby so far. Start off quite nice and easy and smooth. <clears throat> Me, I actually think that the 2D games are like Super Mario 64 is really great, but the 2D ones just is a bit more aimless. Okay, there we go. We can do that, and I guess this is a hint. Oh, it's uh, something else. <laughs> There we go. Homing capture. After throwing your cap, you should need to again to perform a homing capture. What the hell?
<laughs> okay, he cannot. Do, 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 do. There we go, that's how. Put one up. Uh -huh. Oh, right, there we go. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, I think the moves are what you get. And, uh, unlock new worlds. Yeah, okay. I think this game has uh, like Bowser's fur right and man feeling. Yeah, and this is like the next <laughs> thing that we can go for the boss. Oh. oh, the more moons you have, the more worlds you can travel to, maybe? The camera here, I don't know. Can I sh Oh, we have the map. Maybe we can change the camera. I'm not 100% allowing it sometimes. <laughs> not that it's bad uh, per se, but... Okay. Oh, and unlock. Oh no, we need more. Alright, so we're gonna go around and collecting. Uh, What does it... I don't know... This be... Four more... <laughs> it's good that we have this map. That's the next target. That's the start. <laughs> Interesting. It's definitely a new thing. Um, also, Fury came out after this game, right? Oh, the game tells me to go here. I wanted to explore, but... Ah. Camera is... like crazy. Uh... Oh, okay. Trying to see uh, what movement take on you and what movement take on oh. oh, this is like the triple jump introduction. No, okay, you will jump is fine. Uh oh, bow wow. We're supposed to. Yeah, I definitely want the camera to be different.
I don't know what it is, but compared to the Mario 64, it feels uh, just a tad bit uh, lower. the check for okay yeah I can run <coughs> could just run up I don't think it's anything down here that for that one <laughs> that's cool <laughs> Something. <laughs> 15 out of 50. Jeez, that's a lot of missing. <laughs> just by default, I think the Kirby camera just felt a little bit smoother. I guess I missed that one. <laughs> uh, so I been to that. I think we're supposed to go this way. It looks like a 2D thing here. A little bit of... Oh, okay. Pixelated. Okay. Quite interesting how big it is going to be. Check this one. Come on. 
Goddamn mosquito. Okay, there we go. That works out. And a secret? Me? Oh. Oh, you can pick up. You can pick up the bombs, right? And this is uh, awesome. Bling bling. Go Faster with Mario. by comparing the games like the Kirby and this one that the Kirby has felt a little bit more more interesting somehow I don't know I don't know what it is about the Odyssey that just <clears throat> haven't sparked my interest as much it's a little bit clump more clumsy sl sluggish movement Nice graphic, but <clears throat> I think um, Bowser's Furry, furry? Uh, was actually like graphically more interesting. I think it had more of a punchier graphical uh, like saturation. This is a little bit toned down. It's not that it's not a bad style, but it is a little bit, feels a bit toned down. Do, 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 do. Right, here we can unlock more. Here we can go. Let's check out um, next world or level here. Is it level? Maybe there will be different worlds and all kind of them. Crazy stuff here. It's a nice break though to go a little bit Kirby and a little bit of Mario Odyssey here uh, compared to you know this and what was it? Fortune Shadow Tours? Like it was all about movement gameplay. 
nice uh, like inputting, dodging. Here's more, you know, just uh, kind of figure out a little bit what to do, and uh, not, it's not the same challenge. More of a fun, uh, funner um, <laughs> gameplay experience, uh, more relaxed, more so far. It could definitely ramp up. know about that <clears throat> okay so now the action guide can be open Just like the movie, is he trying to marry each? And again, uh, the tip to climb to get one power moon there, right? Uh huh. if you collect this one if they will huh. ah, if it will remember it seems like you can talk to a lot of dudes to like get tips hints it's definitely uh, or definitely a big of a difference compared to you know the earlier ones <laughs> okay that did not work Okay, that's how you use this one. Oh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I haven't uh, tried to figure out rumble features, so... Oops. Quite a lot of different. Uh, in the, uh, oops. Hello. Then a different one. So the craziest Bowser Capital. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can go a little bit. It Bowser footprints. Okay, so that's... Uh, this is uh, not something that I can go into like this. Maybe with some power-up. 
should be something on the... Oh, yeah, I see. Or some... Some collectibles on the outside. Ooh. what if they are having a full purpose or not. <laughs> he seems to be quite large. Oh. Whee. That works. Yeah, it's weird how the steering works. Why am I? <laughs> so, when I jumped on the bullet bill, my steering was inverted and then it stopped being inverted. Okay, so it remembers the collectible. collectibles, that's good. Again, the first time I did steer here, it went the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it could be something in the far... farthest way here. Oh my god, that is some crazy steering. Okay, so I can do this, and do that, and now the steering are more correct, yeah, there we go, that's weird, not the biggest fan of that. <laughs> Nothing more, right? <laughs> Seems like I'm missing a ton of stuff that I can do here.
Ok. Um, wait, what? Question is, do I have to go all the way back? Or can you fly back? Maybe I can fly back. exactly what I'm feeling about this game here. Uh, it's not that it's not good or anything, but it's just definitely compared to feels quite like a more open and large kind of game than a, you know, used to much simpler worlds here. But I guess again the more galaxy was very very the same in a big game, so Supposed to I oh, okay, we can just it's so weird not holding. I can't hold down the crouch. Oh, thank god, that felt so weird using a button to crouch. In the 2D part, you can press down to crouch. You can also use the C, E buttons. Huh. Moonshot in the sand. What? I messed that one up. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. I'm guessing this hurts me. Interesting. It's a nice, uh, a lot of cool little stuff happening there. But I can see why, you know, a lot of 
Elias really enjoy this game because it has it feels like you have a lot. Like you really have a lot of different things uh, happening. Whoa! Steps? Oh no, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, can I not jump? That's a different one. One missing. Can I not? No, it doesn't seem like I can yum. Maybe we need to go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sure I'm supposed to be doing this, right? Okay, so I don't have to have the glasses on, I can just have them... Oh, and then I can go down that way, drop down. Poor guy stuck there on this little ledge. <laughs> so I can do this. I feel I can do... Yeah, I should probably be do. Okay, you got a moon. to go for that? Huh. It seems like it could be missing quite a lot of uh, warning? Or what? Travel tip. Roll. When you want to mo move quickly or you sip down a hill. Crouch down and press... Oh! That's how you do it. Oh, so I have to... Ooh. <laughs> okay, that one wants... Hmm. 
Oops. Okay, so that's not the way to do it. Doesn't look like a Mario character. Hey, you, you went, Dad. Jeez. It is quite a large world here, but yeah, I, I just felt that the, the Bowser's Fury was a little, a little more my style for sure. Less uh, like talking, more action satisfaction. It's more fun also to me. So that's uh, probably why the 2D and the Sumo 64 and the Bowser Fury was more, more my thing. It just, just felt like pure, pure, pure platforming more of. Huh. Do I have to. Do I have to make it worse? I do miss the the fight the fire flower and the those power ups. Maybe we will get them in Odyssey or maybe not. Oh oh inverted. Whoa! The coin. Might be some secret in this one, I don't know. But for this uh, testing, I want to try to just kind of more power our crew a little bit more quicker here. Uh, I jump. I'm not making it. There we go. I wonder what's in that little box. <laughs> Might just be a coin for completion. Whoa, okay. This feels weird. Can I do a ground pound? No, I cannot. be a good thing if I get to the boss here, finish this, let's try, and um, I'm gonna play more, it's interesting, but it's not my top, it's not my top, <laughs> top Mario game, not to not say that it's, uh... oh, there we go, not to, uh, to like say that it's not an interesting game, where the hell am I supposed to go? Huh? Okay, maybe I need to be... Hello? Uh... Oh my god, camera! 
the biggest enemy in Mario games. Oh, probably why I'm also very much here liking 2D games. The camera are pretty much <laughs> great. How many lives do I have? Is it? I don't know. You can select any checkpoint flag you activate and press A to... Oh, okay, yeah, I like, really like that. That's great, to navigate all of them I can quick travel. That's great. So any checkpoints. And we have, oh my god, that is a ton of moves. Holy crap. What? Are you kidding me? It's the 69 power moons list. It's not in... Oh, whoa. How big is this gonna be? This game? 25? We, we all... Uh, 25, 60. We almost up to this in two levels in the same amount that uh, the entire... <laughs> Entire Super Mario 64 game had in it. Oof, but let's uh, see if we can do the boss here. <laughs> Damn, that is kind of insane amount. Probably why it might be a bit to me, much to me in, in a little bit way, like having to just go to one level and like and come back to a level and just really vacuum it, find it. I think it was a really great, uh, you know, like the, what's it, like seven stars, um, for Smart 64, I think that was a good little, oh, I'm probably supposed to hit that one, right? Yes. Oh, what? Oh. Okay. Y'all is crazy. Don't need to ground pound, could you just do a regular one? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, not a... What are these bosses so far? It's just, you know, one hour into the game, so... <laughs> so this gives me... Three power moons or something like that? No idea how many that's going to be required to finish the game. The more 64 you needed 70 and you could get 120, so... Yet games that are like too kind of large in a sense has uh, always felt a little bit like not the really 100% what I want to do in a way when it comes to just running to the same level or doing too much of it. Like that's uh, just just a me thing. This is great if you like just running around picking stuff up here and there. Oh, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here right now. And I wanna play more for sure. Let's uh, hit the save point, I'm guessing. Okay. I'm gonna see what happens here if I can unlock more worlds. How many more do I need? Oh, we need more. Seven more to traverse to the next, like, open up the next area. I'm gonna have to try to remember this one. Oh. Hmm. So we have saved here, so let's do... The save, and then can I quit out here, or how do we do it? Oops. Mm, no. From this one? Uh, no. <laughs> Not sure how to go about the quit out, so let's just pause, I guess, on this little screen. Yeah, it's a fun, interesting game. It just doesn't really... The Kirby did just kind of like uh, drew... drew room in a little bit harder and then some more odyssey and that's probably why i haven't you know dig dug into this game it's uh again obviously many of the games uh, have been very different like sunshine and again the galaxy has been very different but this uh, definitely feel like it when it comes to maybe size and exploration and how like talking to people and stuff like that, it might have pushed it uh, one little extra step. And uh, yeah, that's probably why I, you know, the Bowser Fury, a little shorter, more manageable uh, map and levels, and uh, probably why that drew me in a little bit more, a little bit of a different art style. It's been a little bit like more gray, colder art style. Uh, it still has vibrance and to it, but it feels a little bit not as super punchy as one of the more earlier ones that felt a little bit more cartoon, pastel coloring, more saturated. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely be doing more of Kirby and I wanna do more of this, but yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is like the largest Mario game or anything. I'm guessing it's gonna take uh, quite a nice little bit of a chunk of time maybe to get by this and it's gonna be maybe a lot of just running around unfortunately uh, might not be the best like series to watch on youtube uh if you're not no you know don't uh, like me don't know what i'm supposed to do i might be irritating around just trying to where the hell can i get this next moon to get me to the next help me get to the next area there were definitely tricky like stars in Super Mario 64 and stuff like that, but it was... I feel this could be uh, more of a challenge, just uh, collecting... Collecting since it uh, seemed to be quite a lot of them. Like two worlds in, pretty much, and we have almost... We have like, we have... Yeah, almost 100 power moons that you can find. Like, it's... Whoa! <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, yeah. not sure if that for me is like the me best streamline, but I guess the, yeah, time will tell. If I do, you know, the next video, I'm gonna, I'm sure I will get a more of a feeling of how it's uh, gonna stack up. So stay tuned for more of Kirby and uh, Super Mario Odyssey, and have a great day till then.